Okay. Hi, everybody. Shannon here. Um, this is my first live pour. Um, I've already pre-mixed the paints, and tonight I'm going to do a flip and drag. Um, I've kind of got a vision of something like a, tur uh, a peacock. So we're going to see what happens. Showing you the uh, blues that we have. I have a phthalo blue and a Artist Loft turquoise. Um, I've got a Artist Loft violet. I'm not going to use a lot of that because if you really look at a peacock, there really isn't any purple in there, but I like the idea of the contrast. And then I've got a, oops, clumsiness, um, Art Deco um, bluegrass green that is going to complement my turquoise. And I'm using this cup. It's a small one. Um, Uh-oh, I'm having technical difficulties here. Okay, it's still working. Okay. This little small cup here, um, because I've discovered that in these types of pours, you really don't need as much paint. And I can always add more if I decide to. I'm going to add a little blaster. I didn't think all of y'all would need to know the uh, exact details of how uh, this was all mixed up, considering most of you watching this have done plenty of pours. I guess I should set this down where y'all can see. Maybe you can see. It's kind of hard to practice not getting in your own shot. Oh, I got gorgeous sails already. This gorgeous, gorgeous blue. Okay, just a little touch of the purple. And I'm actually going to put a little bit of white in this, even though I've already got white all over my canvas. Get all of that out. Okay, we're almost there. Looks like I'm going to use it all. After all, I'll save the blue. Okay. All right, let's raise you up where you can see here. Like I said, I've already got white on my canvas, which makes the flip a little tricky. But let me put some gloves on real quick. Um, I've done this a couple of times, and I have discovered that. Um, if you struggle to get your white spread out, then you end up stretching your cells more than I like the idea of stretching them. So, um, I don't want to do that. So, I've decided that I'm going to try a different way of doing it, and this is it. So, here we go. All up. Now this cup is not one that I can put um, a hole in, so I'm going to have to kind of lift and drag as I go. Right. Like that. My friend. 
ones is four. And before I get to tilting, I'm going to torch a little bit of it. I do know how to work the torch. It's just my torch has about had it. So if it seems like I'm struggling with it, it's because I need a new one already. Oh yeah, this is turning out. I may be adding some gold to it if I can get it to do what I want it to do. Um, we're fixing to see. That's enough torch for now. Let's do a little bit of tilting. Sorry if you can't see everything I'm doing. But I'm not very practiced at this whole doing it for the camera thing. Okay, even though it's really pretty, I'm starting to lose some of my sails, which I'm not too thrilled about. Those are pretty. I think I'm going to do a little bit of swapping. Just to get the colors more. Oh, this card had paint on it. That's handy. Yes, you can put your fingers in your painting. I don't advise it, but it's not the worst thing you could do to your painting. Maybe a little more light right here. And that's what this little bit over here. Beautiful. I'm loving it. Alright, a little more white. I didn't really have enough white on here apparently. Next time I'll have to mix up a little bit more. I actually I have some next here. Let me get it. Help this out just a little bit before I start messing with the gold. Yeah, you heard me right. Nothing in the gold. 